I got some advice and some tips from Ashley and Janelle on, you know, just like what do they do daily to um, grow their business? Hold on, honey, I'm doing something. Yes. Um, what do they do daily to grow their business? And I thought I would share that with you guys. So I'm just going to go over like what they sent me. Um, so Ashley said, focus on your, you know, your working people. If you don't have any distributors, that's okay because you will one day. So focus on when you do start building your team, focus on the people that you see that are messaging you back or posting or you know you see them working that's my biggest thing is that I want this for everybody that I will search for people like I will hunt my team down and I'll be like hey like what's up like you want to get on a zoom do you have a chart because I want it so badly for all of you you know but at the end of the day I have to focus on the people that I see working so if I don't like if I'm not messaging you guys it's not because I like don't care you know but there's a lot of you so I really have to focus on the people that I see that want it because if I spend too much time on the people that don't, then, you know, I'm not going to get to where I want to get. And it's not just about me. It's about you guys, too. But at the end of the day, we have to focus on the people that are working. If you don't have a team yet, the most important thing is building new relationships. How do you build new relationships? That's going to be by, you know, either going out and talking about your business everywhere you go and not being shy because, you know, being shy can get us nowhere in our business. Like, people that are entrepreneurs – like, it's the hardest thing to be shy when you are an entrepreneur because you're building a business. You're building your business, and you have to be able to talk to people and not be shy about it. This is your business. It's basically, when you join at Works, it's like they're giving you the rights to all their products. They're saying, this is for you. Go make money off of it. That's like Macy's or a store calling you and saying, hey, like, I will give you our products to sell. You don't have to do anything. Just go out and find people that want it, and you're going to make this much percentage off of it. It's literally like a business deal. So um, when it comes to this business, you do have to take it very serious and see like, okay, I just started a new business. Pretend like you just opened the doors to your new business. So now as a new business owner, what would I have to do to get my products out there? What you would have to do is you'd have to find people, right? You'd figure out a way to share. Obviously for It Works, we are, they don't pay any advertising. They don't pay for commercials. Like, I don't know if you guys know about Beachbody or any of those other companies, you will see commercials on places. You will see the radio playing ads. You will see even other companies that, you know, they have sponsored people. It works doesn't have any of that because they want people to directly come to us to purchase because that's the way they run their business. So even if you go to the It Works website, like people can't just order off the website. They actually have to find a rep. So just think of it that way. Like this is your business. So if I open the doors to a new business today, what would I have to do to get my business out? Um, basically be your own billboard. If you have not got a shirt, like that's the biggest thing. Get a shirt. Wear it out everywhere you go. I promise you guys, people will ask you what's It Works just because the name sticks out, you know? Um, so even if you just have one shirt that you literally throw on before you leave your house or a cute sweater or something or your lanyard, if you guys don't have one, message me and I'll get one out to you guys. Um, that helps too. People will, will look at it and ask you questions and that's your opportunity to hand them a blitz card. Um, so that's how you're going to form new relationships is by getting your business out there. How are you going to form new relationships on Facebook? You're going to do that by commenting on people's posts. You know, for me, the biggest thing is I try to be really genuine. So I want to make honest posts. So I will just go through and my goal every morning is to just sit down for like 20 minutes on my phone and I compliment people like genuinely. I'm like, your daughter's so pretty. Like I find things to love about them because that attracts people more. When you give someone a compliment, it really like you stick out, you know, you're not just like everybody else's comments like, oh, cool. But you're actually saying something nice and they will go and look at your profile because that's even happened to me. Like when somebody compliments me, I'll be like, who is this? And I'll just start looking through their stuff. So, you know, I don't know if you guys want to take that as a tip, whatever compliments is like the biggest thing, um, you know, a good way to form relationships and you stick out to people. So they remember you, but obviously, you know, it's not always one comment that's going to, obviously they're going to remember you, but like, you know, constantly, if you see someone that, you like on Facebook and you're like, wow, she's talking about how she's a stay at home mom, you know, looking for money. Or maybe she doesn't even say that. Maybe she's just like, I'm a stay at home mom and I love it or whatever. Or you see her constantly with her kids and you, you know, she's a stay at home mom. 
that's someone you would want to write down on a hundreds list and always interact with them and maybe send them a message one day and just say hey like I noticed you're a stay at home mom like you know I'm looking to make new friends something like that I know that can be kind of weird but People on social media like really do like talking to people. If you don't make it awkward and just make it normal, they will talk to you. So it doesn't always have to be like, hey, have you heard about it works? But if you are starting a relationship with them, um, then you know you're gonna attract new relationships. Um, the next biggest thing that Ashley said was weekly trainings, and I couldn't agree with her more. Like. If I didn't get on a Zoom, like, I get on a Zoom every day, Monday through Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's just, like, the regular corporate calls, if I can get on those, I do, but it should be, like, a high priority to get on at least one Zoom a week, like, that is, like, the biggest thing, because it's, like, when you get a new job, you know, if you don't show up to the trainings, then how do you expect to learn? You have to figure out a day where you can jump on a training, and if you can't, like, when I worked and I would miss all the Zooms, I would message Ashley or somebody. I'd be like, hey, like, Denise is Zoom. Can you send me the recording? Is there a link? And sometimes there wouldn't be, so I'd miss out. But sometimes there would be a recording. So I would have the ability to watch it. So even if you're doing that, reaching out to me or somebody and just saying, hey, like, was Zoom recorded? I would love to watch it. Because you have to know that these trainings are, like, huge. They will change your business like crazy if you get on one a week. Like I said, there's one Monday through Thursday. So whatever one works for you. And even if you're getting on for like 10, 15 minutes and you're not staying on, I'm sure you can get something out of, out of something, you know, out of getting on some, some of them. Um, so that's basically what Ashley said. So focusing on the people that are working and forming new relationships and making sure you're getting on, um, team calls. Um, and I wrote down some, and for me, it was the same thing, like I said, getting on Zoom. Um, another huge thing is making a daily six list. Six things that you're going to do. You know, you could add your, like, daily things for your life, too, but also making sure that at least half of them are income-producing activities, something for your business. I'm going to sit down for 30 minutes, and I'm going to like and comment and interact with people. I'm going to follow up with 30 people today that I have on my list that I've talked to in the past. And I'm going to go hand out 10 blitz cards, stuff like that. So make it a goal to like make a daily six list before you go to bed and have that um, out of your mind at night. So you know what you have to do the next day and you actually get the stuff done for your business. Um, the biggest thing in this business, like I would say for me, since I've been in over a year now, I noticed that if I'm not following up, I'm not getting any customers. So even if it's been a while since you talked to somebody, don't be afraid to follow up with them. And even if they're already customers and maybe they haven't purchased from you, they turn off their auto ship, don't be afraid to follow up with them and just say like, hey, how are you? Or, hey, how did you like, I go through my old loyals and I'll say, hey, how did you like your products? Or what didn't you like about them? Because I'm forming that relationship with them. I want them to know that I care. I don't just care about them buying from me, but I also care what they didn't like about the product. Because maybe it's something that, um, you know, something they did wrong, or maybe it's something that I can, you know, share another product with them. I'm like, oh, well, you were looking for that kind of result, and you were totally on the wrong product. And we won't know that if you don't talk to your your old loyals also. So following up with, with your old, you know, your leads on your hundreds list, but also following up with your customers. And um, that's, like, the biggest thing. The next thing is consistency. You have to be really consistent on working your business, especially online, because people are watching you. If you are posting once a week, like, you're seriously not going to get any any out, good outcome out of that. You're not going to get customers like you'd like. And then you're going to, you know, be like, man, I'm not getting any people. Nobody wants to buy. And it's not that. It's because if you guys know the way Facebook works, you have to constantly be posting for people to see your posts. It's like the way that algorithm works. You have to be posting enough to where they go to people's news feeds and also liking and commenting. So those people that you're interacting with are the ones seeing your posts. So if you're only interacting with your family, those are the only people that are going to see your posts. So make sure that you're not just interacting with people that you already interact with, friends and family. But you're also interacting with people that you don't normally comment and like on and adding new people every day. So consistency is huge. If you're going to use social media to grow your business, you have to post every day at least three times a day, morning, evening, and night. And the reason is, is because people are on different times of the day. People work. Some people get up and get on Facebook before they head to work. And then they don't get on again until lunch. Some people don't get on until lunch. Some people get on when they're home after work, you know. 
So we have to be able to meet that, you know, be able to, I can't think of the word, but be able to know that different types of the day, I'm re you're reaching out to all those people and they're seeing your posts. So morning, evening, and night. Um, you know, there's a lot of apps that can help you with that. Hootsuite is awesome. It will make the post for you on Facebook. But that still means you still have to get on and interact with people because, you know, people still won't see your posts if you're not doing that. But at least you know that your posts are being made. So if you're setting those before you go to bed, at least three um, before and after photos, um, then you're going to get better results, making sure you're doing that daily. Um, sorry, I'm trying to my notes. Another thing is if you are wanting to promote, you have to think, sorry, I'm trying to give you the right words. So if you're looking to promote, what do you have to have to promote? You have to know where you're going. If you, let's say you're going to go on a trip, like let's say I'm deciding, okay, I'm going to drive to Texas today, but I don't, I've never been there and I don't have a map. I don't know how to get to Texas. You know, you need a map. I would need a map out my way. Like, okay, so I'm going to go through New Mexico. I'm going to go through here. I'm going to go through there. That's the same thing in this business. Like if we're not going to map out our way to our promotion, we're not going to know how to get there. So if you know, okay, I want to get to Diamond, what do I need to get there? I need three rubies to get to Diamond. So that means I need this many people. So that means I would need to find three friends that want to make extra money with me and let them know they each need five people, but I'm also going to help them grow their business. So if I get leaders, I'm going to put them in those areas and I'm going to tell them, you know, this is what you do to grow your business. So you're basically going to duplicate everything that I, that I show you or whoever your enroller shows you on, on anything, you just duplicate the same thing. Whatever I sent you when you first enrolled or your enroller, hopefully they sent you some type of training, you do the same thing when you get a new leader. You just say, hey, like go through this training, you know, I'll be here to answer your questions, let them know about Zooms, stuff like that. So you need to know your roadmap. If you guys don't have charts out, you're not gonna know how to get to Executive, or Ruby, or Diamond. So if you guys want to promote in this business, you're going to have to print those charts out and really look at them and see what they are. Like a Ruby is five people, an executive is two people, an Emerald is, I don't even know how many people it is, like 12 people. A uh, Diamond is like 25 people. If you guys think about it, like 25 people is not that much if you are working with three other people, you know? Um, and you are leading them and you're showing them exactly what, you know, exactly what we show you on the groups, exactly what you hear on trainings. And it's not that hard to get there if you're really working for it. Um, and it's totally worth it. Like, a diamond makes $2,000 extra a month. Like, you can get there in a few months. And how would that not be worth it, you know? Um, so, like I said, if you don't know your roadmap to the promotion you want to get, even if it's your five-year goal with this business, then you're not going to know how to accomplish that if you're not printing out the charts or reaching out to me or your enroller and just saying hey like i need to print out a chart or how can i get a chart or what do i have to do to get to executive or ruby can you help me then we'll be able to help you guys so um knowing that and then also i know charting could be like crazy confusing if you do have distributors under you so don't be afraid to like message me if you guys need help but i did want you guys to know that you can move people so like i said if you find someone that joins your business or is your team member now and you know like they want it as bad as you you can place people under them so you can say like hey girl i'm gonna put some people under you and i'm gonna help build your business you know so we can work together and so you can do that i don't know if you guys know but you can move customers you can move distributors um and i do that sometimes but i only do that if i see my like people that are working like i'll never place a distributor under someone that is not working and it's not because I don't think that they want it it's just because I have to be really careful you know I can't just place someone under someone for no reason so I have to see that they want it you know as bad as I do so you know just you guys are all doing a great job and I know a lot of you guys have had like a little bumpy road but sorry it's loud here that's totally normal like for people not to respond to your messages is totally normal and for people to say no, it's totally normal. It's just a part of life. Like, not everybody's going to want to join your business. And not everybody's going to say yes right away. But the biggest thing is that people are watching everything you're doing. So if anything, that's, like, my biggest tip for you guys is people are watching you. 
And if you are giving up one week and working your business the next week, nobody's going to want to join you because they're going to be like, she doesn't even take her business seriously. You know, I don't want to be a part of someone that's going to give up on me when I need their help. I've had so many people message me and just say like, hey, like I have a friend that doesn't work, but I want to join you because like, I don't know if she's working her business anymore, but I feel bad. And I'm like, well, message your friend and like talk to her about it, you know, because I don't want to take people's um, friends. But at the same time, as I understand where they're coming from, like I wouldn't want to join my friend just because she's an average distributor. I want to join someone that I know is working their business and is going to be there to help me. So that was basically all I had. Um, do you guys have any questions? I don't even know if you guys can hear me because my kids are being loud. Uh, yeah. You just fine. You okay. Well, I could. <laughs> I'm like, my kids are like screaming. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Well, you probably, you, you hit it right on the nose with, with everything that I was <laughs> going to ask. So, um, what do I, uh, I had a question. I think it was um, if so. If another person said they're going to join, and I and I kind of gave them their time. I you know like um, messaged them a few t a few times and said, "Hey, uh, you know, are you still interested in you know becoming a distributor?" And because she said she has a lot of people, and I think I mentioned this before, but I. And then she kind of just faded away. So, um, what? I don't know. I want to ask her, but I've asked her like um, two times in person. When was the last time you talked to her? Like, well, it's been about a month or so. Because she left Mexico and then she came back and I seen her and asked her then. And she said, yeah. Um, her next check, it's kind of been the same thing over and over again. Yeah, next check. Maybe stuff keeps coming up, so I don't want to give up on her, you know? Mm -hmm. But, um. Well, don't give up on her. What I do is I try to follow up with, like, potential distributors. At least. Like, I don't like to bug them either, so I will go, like, a month sometimes, the most, but never, like, more than that, because I've had people mm -hmm. that joined other people because I didn't message them anymore. Um, yes, so yeah. even if you're, like, talking to her, liking her posts, or commenting on her stuff, or messaging her, and just saying, hey, girl, like, how are you? How's everything been? Like, that kind of relationship will still, like, keep them, they'll remember that they talked to you about that. But obviously, you want to bring it up every once in a while, and just, and always, when you talk to people, like, tell them, like, I only have, I have two spots left this month, like, I need two people to help go Ruby, and, like, they can earn a $5 bonus. Do you want to try? You know, I can try to help you, or whatever. My upline's going to help me, help you however you want to put that, but you always want to tell people, like, you only have a few spots left, and always let them know about the bonus, because that's the things that always make people want to join. If you tell them, like, hey, well, you know, you want to join my team, you can join whenever. They're not ever going to join. They're going to join whenever they want. Anytime I talk to people, I always tell them, like, I have one spot left. If you want it, you can take it. If not, I'll give it all, like, I'll, you know, there's someone else that will take it, and they always, most of the time, they'll be like, yeah, I want it. Or I'll tell them, I'll hold your spot for you if you don't have money right now. What day works for you? And then they'll tell me, well, I get paid this day. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll message you then. So you really want to make it like you only have a few spots. Even though, I mean, you're not really lying. Because if you really want to dedicate yourself to, like, two people a month, then that's what you're going to do, you know? It depends on what you can handle. Um, yeah. I had a question about um, when it comes to ordering and them feeling comfortable enough to either give me the information with their credit card if they're sh like family it's easy but I struggle with how to say it in a way that they'll feel comfortable with me um taking their information you know especially with somebody I haven't met and they want some rap or something and then um I kind of get like intimidated not intimidated but like I feel like oh god okay I have to ask them about if they feel comfortable with me or not if you make or it, if you how make do it I awkward, it? <laughs> if you make it awkward, it's going to be awkward. People can feel it when you're like, uh, so now I need your credit card, you know? So <laughs> what I do is like, I'll say, okay, well, here's a few options. I can walk you through my site or if it's easier for you, I'll just place your order. I'll just do your order for you. I've had okay. like people say walk me through the site in a year. So 
most of the time I'm like, oh, you can do it. What do you need? And I'm like, okay, well, this is what I need. And I'll explain, like, I explain why I need everything. So I'll be like, okay, so I need your address to ship you your product. I need your email so I can get send you your confirmation. And then I'll need the card number that you want to use for your order. And if you're more comfortable too, you can get a prepaid card. And I always tell them that. And they're like, oh, it's cool. Like, I'll give you my info. And I'm like, okay. And then they just always send it to me. So the people that feel uncomfortable and they're like, oh, well, I don't want to give you my debit, you know, they'll tell you. I mean, yeah. they'll tell you. And if they say they don't want to give you your debit, then you say, okay, well, you can get a prepaid card or I can call you. We can do it over the phone if you want to do that. Okay. You know, there's ways you can work around it. So just try not to make okay. it awkward. Like, just, just ask them what you need and just make sure you give them the reason why you need everything. I feel like when people are reading it and they're like, okay, well, she needs my email for my company. You know, she's going to send me a confirmation. I want that. And obviously, I want my products coming to the right address. So this is my shipping. You know? And then my card yeah. number to charge me. Almost everything gets done with credit or debit now. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. But some there's some people that, you know, get scared. So just give them the option. Like, I can walk you through the website. I can call you. I can go to your house. If you're in the same city, you know, whatever. And most of the time. If you're just like, can I have your credit card? Then yeah, they're gonna be like, uh. <laughs> like, give, them, give them, give them the option to tell you what they want to do. It's more comfortable for them. What? Okay. If that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. How, how often is too often? How often what? How often is like too often if you're following up? Like I don't want to bug people. Um, but there's a lot of people that I keep messaging and they don't respond at all. I would say, like, uh, to me, every week is too much. Now, there is some leaders that do every week. Like, Jamie first follows up every Friday with the same people. Um, but she has huge lists now, I'm sure. So, sometimes she probably doesn't get to the same people over, over and over. I would say at least every two weeks and never let it go more than a month. Um, but the thing is, is that when you follow up, it doesn't always have to be it works. And I know we always want it, you know, we just want to get to the point, which is fine. But there is okay to just sometimes just message people and just say hey girl how are you or you maybe you saw a post about them being sick hey girl how you feeling i saw you were sick you know that's what i do and if i feel like i'm bugging someone a lot i'll just go and like a few of their posts so like i pop up again in their mind and i'm like oh did i talk to that girl about whatever because then if we annoy them too then obviously you know they'll start either ignoring or yeah that's another thing if there's people that showed interest and then, like, now I message them every now and then, and they haven't replied, like, more than three times. Would you oh, message them? Yeah, a lot of the times people, like, I've seen so many messages, like, and I ignore them, and it's just, like, I didn't have time to get to them. And I think of, like, I'm busy a lot of the time, too, you know? So I think that if they're ignoring you, if it's already, like, your third time and they haven't said anything back, I'll, I always message them. Um, hey, like, did I say anything to offend you just so they can answer me? And they'll just be like, oh, no, like, I've been busy. Um, and I'll just say, okay, like, I just wanted to make sure, like, you, were, you weren't, like, mad at me or anything. And then I just leave it at that. Um, yeah. But they say, like, you have to follow up with people at least 7 to 12 times before they even buy a product or join your business. That's just in people. Like, they they like to be reminded of the same thing, I guess, over and over. I don't know. But, um, you know, it's like when you see something so many times you want it or – that's the thing is that people are watching you. So if you're just messaging them and not posting, then they're not seeing anything interesting. But if you're posting all the time, they're like, oh, you know, they're constantly seeing before and afters. They're going to be more interested after a while. They're going to look at your post. They're eventually going to see a before and after that they feel looks like that, you know? If that makes sense. So if you talk, if you message someone more than three times and they've just ignored you, I would message them and just say, hey, like, I hope you're not mad at me or something. They almost always respond to that. And then, um, and then I just keep interacting with them. Like, you know, you can tell when someone's annoyed. And most of the time, if they're really annoyed with you, they'll block you. Like, people do, they'll block you. Even family has blocked me. So if they haven't blocked you yet, you haven't annoyed them. <laughs> you if they want they're annoyed like they'll just block you so don't think that people are annoyed like people are just busy or they just haven't got back to your message or maybe they just don't have the money and they're embarrassed to respond you know but one day you're gonna catch them when they do have a little bit of money they're like hey you know yeah actually i can order now i have money like i've had people do that to me 
So don't give up and just keep messaging or talking to them. It doesn't always have to be about the business, like I said. Like, you can message them normal stuff. That could be a follow-up too, just normal. Like, keeping that relationship with them. Lori, do you have any questions? No. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for getting on. If you guys have any more questions, I don't know if you do, Sarah. Thank you. We're going to run out of time right now. So if you guys have any more questions, you guys can message me if you guys think of anything. Thank you for getting on with me. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.